the premise behind it is the fact that we can either move forward into growth or prosper or shrink back into safety and stagnant. In this talk, he will share five stretching statements that will will have, sorry about that, statements that will help anyone change their perspective and current thinking, keeping their eyes in what in what lies ahead. So. Exactly. So thank you so, so very much. I really appreciate that, Natasha. And I really appreciate that you are filling in for Stephanie because, I mean, she has, I mean, some, some other things. But I think that she's going to join us as soon as she's, she's done with, with that. So, um, but um, uh, the topic for today, let me just get into the topic. And it's about all stretching forward. And um, uh, the reason that I decided to share this teaching with all of you today is because for a few months now, uh, the whole world has been navigating the rough waters of very challenging times. And here in the U.S., we are certainly not immune to those challenges of the uh, pandemic, the coronavirus, uh, also, uh, compounded to that, there's been uh, tensions in uh, the streets of many cities throughout the country. And also, uh, I'm, I'm sure that you know that there is a presidential election just in a few uh, more days. So you can see that um, uh, it's been a lot going on. So therefore, for most of us, it is a great time to be stretching forward. So uh, when we consider this idea of stretching, then we need to look at it from the perspective of going to something and moving towards something. Perhaps um, it's a different place in your life uh, or something else uh, perhaps for you. But in any case, we are moving to something or we are going to shrink and pull back and turning around, looking at what is behind us instead of what is definitely ahead of us. Uh, it is very helpful to remind ourselves of a statement uh, by Abraham Maslow. You know Abraham Maslow, the guy who came up with the hierarchy of needs, I mean, that pyramid. And Maslow said the following, says, we can either move forward into growth or we can move backward into safety. Now, we cannot do both. We have to choose either one or the other. And that is a personal choice. I cannot choose for you. You cannot choose for me. So uh, this is uh, a good point uh, to remember another statement uh, made by uh, a contemporary, uh, Jack Canfield. And Jack Canfield, I'm sure that you know who Jack Canfield is, the chicken soup for the soul uh, books and so forth. And uh, Jack says the following. He says, everything that you want that you don't have right now is because it's outside of your comfort zone. Uh, because if you wanted it badly enough and it was within your comfort zone, you would go and get it with absolutely no problems. But guess what? If that thing that you want in your life is way outside of your comfort zone and you don't have it yet, is because you are not willing to step outside and do whatever it takes to pay the price to obtain it. Now, the pandemic, the coronavirus has for sure uh, taken everyone outside of their comfort zones. And there is no question about that. You can see it very vividly in your own life and in the lives of people that you know, because everybody, I mean, has turned to uh, doing virtual meetings. You see this, for example, this is a virtual meeting. I mean, we're doing webinars, we're doing Facebook Lives. We uh, are learning new things. We have suddenly become technology and computer Zoom gurus experts in the virtual world and that has been quite a stretch for some of us because we were not accustomed to doing that 
Now, as we keep moving through this presentation, I will share with you some stretch statements, five state uh, stretch statements. But for now, what I want you to do is to think of one word and to keep that word in your subconscious mind for the rest of our time together. And that word is more, M-O-R-E, the word more. You see, I don't know all of you. Uh, most of you I never met in person. So I don't know your personal stories. However, I do know one thing, guaranteed I know one thing about each one of you. And this is, this is that you want more in your life. You want to have more than you currently have. You want to do more than you currently do. And you want to be more than you are right now. We want to have more impact. If we are honest, we want to have more impact in our communities, in the world. We want to have more influence with the people in our teams, with our families, with our circles of influence. Now, this brings me uh, the, to uh, uh, that I want to share uh, one of the laws out of the 15 invaluable laws of growth from the, um, from the book by John Maxwell, and is the law of the rubber band. The law of the rubber band. Here I got a rubber band for all of you. And what is that law state? It says that growth stops when you lose the tension between where you are and where you could be. You see, nobody buys a rubber band not to stretch it. Its value is displayed when the band is stretched. Now, let me give you a quote by William Somerset Maugham. It says, only a mediocre person is always at his best. Now, Chris Hodges, a pastor of a large church, uh, talks about the vision gap. Now, you may be wondering, I mean, what on earth is the vision gap? Well, the vision gap is that space between what you are doing and what you could do. This gap is definitely a stretch. There are people who are wishing to go back to normal. I know you met some of those people. Uh, even they call it the new normal. Now, let me share something with you that could be shocking. There is no new normal. It doesn't exist. Now, these people just want to go back to their comfort zones. And of course, they are not exploring new alternatives, uh, different ways of doing things they are not, definitely, they are not stretching. Now, as a speaker and a leadership and growth mindset coach, I talk and interact with many people. And most cannot wait to get back to normal or some sort of normality. The truth of the matter is that normal is no more. And those who want to get back to normal really want to step back into what Maslow calls the safety zone. And that is quite opposite from stretching. Now, let me get into the first stretching statement that I want to share with you. And that is the growth stretch. The growth stretch. Now, the phrase for this stretch is, there is a better way. There is a better way. Now, there is nothing that I am doing today that cannot be improved. As a speaker, when I go back to a presentation that I have given in the past, I always find new ways to improve it. I'm sure that you find new ways to improve whatever you are doing. Um, for example, today, I am giving my very best in sharing this content with all of you. Uh, but that is today. Tomorrow or a few days in the future, when I reflect on it and when I go back to this presentation, I know for sure that I will find new and better ways to make it better, to make it stronger, to make it more impactful. You see, in any crisis, 
we may be experiencing, what happens is that we normally take detours. Sometimes, I mean, we need to take a different road. Uh, perhaps the normal speed on that road has been reduced. We cannot go as fast as we want. There may be an obstacle in the middle of the road. And, and the result is that we cannot get to the place we want fast without so many twists and turns. And that can be, for some people, can be very, very frustrating. Now, uh, the answer to that is what I called taking the detour tour the detour tour and not only to take it but to maximize it uh if you if you're going to see things that you have never seen before you will experience things that you haven't experienced before learn new things uh, new tools new new programs uh new applications new processes um, other things that you haven't done before. And if you have a positive attitude to these new experiences and learning, you will be much better as a result of it. Then and only then, uh, the question you will be asking is this, why on earth do I want to go back to normal? Because I am finding better ways to do things. Now, who said, who really, who said that normal was the best way to do something? I, I will share another quote by Abraham Maslow, who said, the most important learning lessons in my life came as a result of tragedies, crises, deaths, trauma. These lessons came when we were forced, not willingly, but forced to change. And our lives outlook became incredibly different. Now Maslow is teaching us a very important lesson in relation to this growth stretch that can be summarized in three areas. First, everyone can be improved. You can be improved, I can be improved, everyone. Second, everything can be improved. And third, every day has improvement possibilities. Now that brings us to the second uh, stretch statement, and that is the creative stretch. And the creative stretch says, there is always an answer. There is always an answer. And as a matter of fact, there are always more than one answer. You see, one of the characteristics of an artistic, creative person and part of their DNA is the fact that they know there are multiple answers out there and they are constantly looking for them. Creative people have a relentless curiosity that keeps them moving all the time in search of answers and solutions to any problem or situation. Creative people are lifelong learners who refuse to quit exploring. The crea these creative individuals have a bent and a passion to find the answer, whatever that answer is. And where are these answers to be found? Always, absolutely always, outside of the comfort zone. There is a wonderful quote by author Eric Hoffer that states, in times of change, learners inherit the earth, while the learned find themselves beautifully equipped to deal with a world that no longer exists. So the question for you and for me as we continue moving through this crisis is this, what are we learning and doing right now that we didn't know or did before this pandemic started. How are you changing? Are you grateful for this crisis? What are you doing on your detour tour that is helping you to grow and to stretch creatively? Now that brings us to the third stretch statement, which is the intentional stretch. 
And this states that intentional living is the bridge that connects intentions to actions. You see, good intentions, my friends, uh, are overrated. And this intentionality takes you from good intentions to good actions. One of the things that a crisis does is that it moves us away from what I called automatic. You see, another way to describe this dangerous comfort zone is automatic. Most people live their lives in automatic. And people who spend most of their time there, they live automatic lives. We like to be in a zone where we don't have to think much. Things are mostly easy where there are no challenges, where we don't have to strategize much, and where we just let life happen. You know, uh, there are two ways that you can live your life. You can live your life by default, letting life happen. Whatever happens, it happens. Or you can take the bull by the horns and make it happen. That's living life by design not by default. Now, as I was preparing for this teaching, um, this is what I thought uh, automatic means. Uh, a person who loves automatic loves easy. Automatic is easy. Uh, people in automatic will not initiate anything. They're not looking to start anything. As a matter of fact, I mean, if you start something, you are out of automatic, out of your comfort zone. People in automatic lack focus. You don't need to focus because it's automatic. If you're in automatic, you miss opportunities. Why? Because you are not looking for them. If you are in automatic, you are not open to change. You're not welcoming change. Why would you want to go through the process of change? If you're in automatic, you will reduce your curiosity. Why be curious? You may find something out there that you don't know. It may serve you well, but you don't know it. If you are in automatic, you will not stretch. You lack the energy to go beyond your current capabilities and expand your potential. Automatic is not contagious. I have never met anyone who sees another person inside their comfort zone and says, wow, I would like to be there myself. The question now is, what would I take out of automatic to become more intentional right now. Now that brings us to the fourth stretch statement, and that is the thinking stretch. The greatest gap in life, my friends, is the thinking gap. The way we think will determine what kind of life and experiences we are going to have. Now let me share a statement from the book the magic of thinking big. It says, capacity is a state of mind. How much we can do depends on how much we think we can do. When you really believe you can do more, your mind thinks creatively and shows you the way. I want you to start implementing these two kinds of thinking. The first is shared thinking. And the second is sustained thinking. Now, what happens when you share your ideas with other people? Now, of course, people that you can trust. Now, better thinking is the result. Better ideas are born out of that interaction. And when you maintain an idea in your mind for a certain amount of time, and keep working the idea and reflecting upon it, you get sustained thinking, which gives you, in turn, deeper thinking. And most people don't do deeper thinking. Now, I want to caution on this. Do not let other people's negative 
short-sighted, scarcity, and full of fear kind of thinking invade your mind. Choose to reframe your situation and don't ignore it, but reframe it and don't let negativity enter your mind. Now, we come to the fifth and the last uh, stretch statement, and that is what I called the perspective stretch. The perspective stretch. Now, in the perspective stretch, there is no finish line. It is a big picture stretch. How we view things is how we do things. We need to change our paradigm from how long will this take to how far can I go? You see, some people, they live their lives thinking, how long will this take? How long will this project take? How long will this task take? And they're always thinking of how long will this take? Other people, they don't pay any attention to how long will this take? Their concentration is on how far can I go? Far can I go? That's a different mentality. And I will give you a few differences between these two statements. You see, how long will this take is a finish line kind of mindset. How far can I go? There is no finish line. How long will this take is goal focused. How far can I go is growth focused. How long will this take emphasizes on deadlines. How far can I go emphasizes on development. How, how long will this take is limited to time. How far can I go is limitless. There is no limited to time. How long will this take uh, means that there is no more than I can do. How far can I go? There is much more than I can do. And I look always forward to doing more. How long will this take uh, emphasizes the fact that whatever I do is not bigger than me. It stops with me. How far can I go? It's, it's a more significant. It goes beyond you. What you do is much bigger than you. You see, most people have this question in their minds. How long is the pandemic going to last? That, that's not the right question to ask. And I believe that there is an even greater and more important question to ask. And that is, what are we doing right now so that when we get to the other side of the crisis, we are much better for it? Our businesses are stronger. Uh, they're more resourced. They are more creative. They are placed in a better situation. Now is the time to do that. Now, um, I'm going to close and wrap up this uh, teaching uh, by uh, sharing this with all of you. You see, uh, one of my mentors said some time ago, he says, you know, today ends at midnight. Whatever you are in the world, today ends at midnight. So what will you do today to stretch yourself, not to the new normal, but to the new you? Not the new normal, but the new you. You see, remember what Maslow said, which is very applicable today. You can either stretch forward into your growth and your potential, or you can shrink back into that comfort zone and into that safety zone where nothing ever happens, and the choice is yours. I cannot make that choice for you. But I hope that when you choose between these two, because you cannot do both, you have to decide one or the other, whatever you decide is the best for you. And I hope that you decide to move forward into your growth, into your potential, because as Les Brown says, there is greatness in each one of us, let's show the world what we can do and what contributions we can make.
keep stretching forward. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. And thank you, Stephanie. Thank you so much for being with us today. That was so uh, inspirational, motivational, motivational. And I know I sure needed to hear that. Thank you so much. Uh, hey, you are absolutely welcome. Thank you very much, I mean, for inviting me and um, all, all the very best. I mean, let's keep uh, stretching forward together. <laughs> absolutely absolutely well thank you so much for being here today and thank you to all of the lovely amazing women of empower hour for uh joining us as well as the people who are joining us on facebook live we've had some from really uh amazing comments thank you so much ladies for on that and then also check us out on youtube we'll also be posting that uh this wonderful video onto youtube before the end of the day we hope you all have a wonderful day and uh have a great weekend bye-bye guys Take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.